Are you kidding me? I'm calling him out right now. Dan the Wolfman. You're a piece of shit, dude. You know why you're a piece of shit? Let me tell you right now. You're a piece of shit because you took this talent and you didn't wind up proliferating it out to the rest of the universe for YouTube. Are you, what, what is wrong with you? You kept a video under wraps for two years and you didn't promote it. You didn't go out and get other people to wind up, I don't know, sharing it. Holy shit, I hate Dan the Wolfman. You know why I hate the Dan, why I hate Dan the Wolfman? Is because I don't know why it is, but I just come across the answer. The fucking answer to all the shit I've been talking about. You guys know I hate sparring, right? I hate sparring. I did a video on it the other day because I don't think that it really has any impact on the reality of training for fighting, for fighting, right? It does for sports, right? Now, I, it's no secret. It's a joke in the beginning. I fucking think Dan Will Wolfman is one of the he's one of the best guys I've ever talked to when it comes down to fighting. Dan balances. He's one of the few people out there. If you ever if you don't follow his channel, Dan the Wolfman. Dan balances sport and uh, uh, reality, sport and self-defense, 100%. Very, very few people do. People like me, 100% self-defense, 100% street fights, if you uh, call it that shit. Dan has been in the ring. I've been in the ring, competitive wrestler. I boxed a few, I boxed three times. Dan, no, Dan's been in the, the fighting circuit as a professional, right? So Dan can talk to both sides. He's one of the few people, in my personal and professional opinion, that can speak to the reality of fighting in both sports and self-defense. That being said, what is this horse shit, Dan? What is this fucking horse shit? This is bodybuilder challenge, full contact, body strikes, jiu-jitsu, Dan the Wolfman versus uh, Muscle Stronger 2012. This video is two years old. It's only got 5.9 thousand views. This is it. This is brilliant. I'm going to play this video. Um, I want to just... I, this is the answer to what sparring should be, in my opinion. And I want to play this for a second to give him credit on this. Dan the Wolfman, thecommonsystem.com. I'm with my buddy Vahe. What we're going to do today is what I call warrior grappling, something I've thought of that I want to do, something you could do. Be very careful. This is not for underage kids. This is for professional-type people in a professional-type environment. Um, full body punches below the collarbone. And if you have a ref, he's just going to warn about hitting the bottom floating ribs because in training, you're not going to want to, um, you know, break the guy's ribs. But 100% on the feet. If it was uh, something you did at like a, uh, maybe a, you hold amateur MMA fights, you could have these warrior grappling rules, one round or three rounds of five minutes each, and you guys go. And if you can drop the guy with a punch, you can hit with only with the hand. A punch, a palm strike. Uh, karate chops, so you can grapple in the clinch, it changes things. If you can slap the back and stuff like this, uh, you might get takedowns better because you'd stabilize or break a structure. And if you can drop him with his knees or hit him with a liver punch and he drops in agony, that's two points. If I get, say, like a old Chigari inter- I've said it a million times. If you ever watch Dan's stuff, you ever see a kid on Christmas who's so excited about whatever? That's Dan. The world of fighting is like fucking Christmas for Dan the Wolfman. The guy, he, he's he, we did an interview a couple weeks ago. I've gotten to know him a little over the last, uh, I don't know, several months for just kind of talking online and whatnot. He's, he's an awesome, awesome fucking man. But when it comes to fighting, dude, he's just, that's his world. And you know what? It's awesome to see it. He gets two points. Dude, Dan, let me tell you something right now. There's no fucking amount of money that'll ever pay me to get in a ring with you. You are a savage, and I'll admit right now, if it's like, hey, dude, you got to fight Dan the Wolfman, I'd be like, I'm conceding. Fuck it. He can have the, he can have the win. Trip into his guard. A small throw into the guard or half guard, that's only one point. If you get a huge throw, like a big judo throw, Hippon Sanagi, something like that, fireman's with effect, pickup slam, two points. Or if you get a, a, a takedown past the guard in a side mount into straight in a mount, a trip, that's two points. The goal is submission. The goal is submission. But there is no butt flopping, no guard hopping. Guard hopping is minus one point. This is warrior grappling, okay? Uh, the only way you, you could you could go for flying submission or a sweep off a pole guard under the leg, something like that's not going to be a negative. So if you jump guard, it's got to be a flying triangle. It's got to be a submission attempt, a scissor sweep, something like that. So we're not going to go full power punch. Number one, I like how Dan's got a bodybuilder next to him. <laughs> Dan, it's like this fucking mountain. (laughs) He's not, he's fucking, he's a brick. 
He's a brick. Yeah, the bodybuilder's low body fat, which is not going to work in his favor. Dan is a fucking machine. It's like, you know damn well this guy's like, he, and I don't know him at all. He might be a great fighter as well, too. But come on. This is Dan the Wolfman. And I'd be like, oh, dude, I got to take some punches in front of you on fucking camera. Oh, shit. Yeah, I like how Dan puts in the bodybuilder and fucking uh, in the title to wind up selling some views. But it doesn't matter who you put in the ring with him. He's a fucking savage. It's ridiculous. Just on, on the ground because that kind of sucks unless it's like a tournament. But we're going to drill each other pretty good and go for like five minutes or so. Five oh, minutes? Oh, shit. You're out of your mind. What's that, three minutes? Three minutes? Oh, 30 seconds worth. Yeah, okay, we'll do like maybe two, three minutes. We'll see how it goes. Oh, so, okay. guys, I hope you enjoy it. Warrior grappling, in a second we're going to be beating the hell out of each other, and it'll be kind of fun. Don't hit the collarbones. Try not to hit the kidneys more than once. Don't hit the spine. Don't hit the balls. Certain like MMA type. Before Dan does this, why I think this is a brilliant idea is if you, if you always train with gloves on, you don't know what it's like to hit the human body. You really don't. And I watched a little bit of this, and there's a time where Dan actually shows what happens when you hit the human body. Uh, I never glove up, and I've had boxers fractures before, and they take, you know, it's like weeks for you to be like to be able to hit again without that pain in your hand. Uh, you need to know what it's like to hit bone, hit an elbow, hit a hip, you know, what hit closed fist, and why it's like some of us like to hit with open fist palm strikes instead. I think this is brilliant. It really does give you a, a sense of security in okay, where... where where sparring may give you the sense of security and the timing, this is going to give you the reality and the sense of security and, oh, shit, this is what it's like. When I hit another a human being, I, it actually does something to me as well, too. So I think this is fantastic. Rules, but uh, if you can slap or something and get a takedown, it'll be cool. Don't just run away and box, but punch and have fun and get taken. Go on. Yeah, he knows how to relax, too. That's serious, man. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. This is good damn sh This is sparring, as far as I'm concerned. See? Woo! Right there. Watch the ribs, guys. I think he hit the hip on that one, I think. Yeah, he hit the hip bone. That's the reality of this. When you have your gloves on, I know in real boxing matches you could do this and break your hand as well, too. But this is reality, and it changes everything up. And I know that people slap box out there, but, and I, I maybe Dan isn't the first person to do this. I've seen the, the Hunter Man Kumite. There's that. This is the first guy out there that's actually teaching this. Dan's got more than just traditional martial arts. He's MMA. This is sparring. This, you know, it's like I'm pissed off I haven't seen this video years ago because anytime somebody would have said sparring, if I had seen this video, I would have been embarrassed that I didn't do anything like it. I really would have. I, if, if I'm going to concede to this, and I know the video is only two years old, but if he had posted it years and years ago, because again, you look, we look younger here, you know, I'm going to say you're in your late thirties here or mid thirties. Um, if I had seen this back in the day where people were calling me out for not sparring and I was doing the stuff that I was doing without gloves, I would have felt embarrassed that Dan was doing this and I wasn't. This is so damn good. So it's just dangerous guys. Yeah, it sure as shit is. <laughs> And he, this is why he's a psychopath. He keeps going. I'd be like, nah, get the ice. God, it changes the game when you don't have gloves on. No protective pads. And, and you can still take a slip to the face if you're going to wind up lowering your level and he's aiming at your body. It doesn't matter. You still lower your level. You're going to take a punch in the face on accident. This is this causes you to wind up picking your targets a lot more carefully too. I skip ahead a little bit. I want to see some more stand-up stuff. Ouch. And Dan's got to be going 30% here. I mean, shit. Push the back. Oh, 
it, it just changes the game when you're not gloved up and you've got those arms in front of you. And they're not even, like, they're, they're not doing trapping or anything either, right? Which is what you think a lot of, like, oh, Swing Chun guys would. Dan, and, and I don't know this gentleman's name, they're still going in. Right. And they're uh, they're just, they're still sparring. They're going in and they're striking, and those strikes are going to hit. You could hit wrists. You could hit elbows. See, we've been training for a long time already. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. This video again. Um, this is uh, it's on Dan's channel. It is uh, Dan the Wolfman. Make sure you go check him out. But the the title of the video is um, Bodybuilder Challenge Full Contact. Uh, Body strikes versus jujitsu. Dan the Wolfman versus stronger muscle, stronger. Uh, twenty twelve. Wow, I am so yeah pissed. I didn't see. I've never seen this video before, and uh, I mean, I really just discovered Dan this year. I think he is he is so underrated. Um, I think that his his content needs to be so much bigger, especially on YouTube. Uh, if you're not subscribed to Dan the Wolfman, you need to. Uh, I, I, he's just got the best, you know, if, if, if we're going to talk about like self-defense stuff, I'll tell you, yeah, Lee Morrison and his crew, uh, older Paul Vunak stuff is fantastic. Uh, hope my stuff, I hope you guys find value with it. Uh, but, and when it comes down to other sporting guys, you know, you got your other sporting guys. Um, no, Dan has got, he's, he's right there. He's the guy who, if you're going to look at, like if, if the world blew up, you can only pick, and I'm not going to lie. If the world blew up and said, hey, you can only pick up one YouTube guy to follow, I'll tell you him. I honestly think Dan the Wolfman is the guy who has both sides, the sport and the self-defense. And I don't think anybody else comes close to him, to be honest. And that's just that. Um, great video. Outstanding job. Once again, Dan has always put his money where his fucking mouth is. Nobody else has. Uh, he's done it more than I have. Um, simply, simply, simply outstanding material. That's what sparring is. So that's, and again, I, you've seen some of my, you've seen my content up there. It's not even remotely to the degree, degree of what Dan has done, but holy shit, was that fantastic. Dan, thank you for putting that out there. Uh, when you really think about it, the guy's putting his body in harm's way for us. He could have broken his hand for what, for entertainment, for our entertainment. So it's fantastic. Guys, uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, uh, hit the thanks button, show us some love out there. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.